The 70 Series Land Cruiser has long been a favourite when it comes to hard-working fleet vehicles. However, a common complaint about the 70 Series is its poor factory parking brake function to the point where rollaways are an all-too-frequent occurrence. To solve this issue, Bendix now offers the ultimate four-wheel drive electric park brake. The Bendix Ultimate Four-Wheel Drive Electric Park Brake for the 70 Series Land Cruiser features a replacement rear caliper that incorporates an electric park brake function, along with the wiring loom and switch to make it all work. This replacement rear caliper also retains the OEM hydraulic dimensions and functionality, OEM pad shape and OEM park brake with bolt-on fitment and no engineering required. The kit also features a rear set of Bendix Ultimate Four-Wheel Drive Brake Pads to suit the vehicle. Before commencing the install, raise the vehicle, remove the wheels and inspect the condition of the vehicle's rear brake rotors. To install the Bendix Ultimate 4-Wheel Drive Electric Park Brake, begin by mounting the control module at this location under the dash. Next, connect the wiring harness through the firewall. There is a grommet behind the brake booster that provides good access between the engine bay and underneath the dash. You will then be able to run the wiring harness through the engine bay using cable ties where possible to ensure that they are secured away from any moving parts or heat sources. Then run the positive and negative wires to the battery. Be sure not to connect the wires to the battery until after the new calipers have been fitted and pressure bled. Then connect the red AC wire with green trace on the wiring plug to the ignition switch. Next, remove the trim around the mechanical handbrake, noting the wire colour and remove the dash cluster. Locate the same colour wire and confirm using a multimeter. Once confirmed, connect the LED vehicle park brake dash light wire to the identified wire. The EPB activation switch can be mounted in one of two positions. For all variants of the 70 series Land Cruiser, the switch can replace the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket in the dash, directly in line with the gear lever. For the Workmate variant without electric mirrors, the switch can be fitted to a blanking plate on the dash to the right hand side of the steering column. Once the provided switch has been mounted in the preferred position, connect the wiring into the switch. Moving on to the rear caliper install, begin by running the electric park brake caliper wires along the chassis rail, down to the diff and out to each caliper. Be sure to secure the harness to the chassis rail using cable ties at various points. From there, clamp the brake hoses to minimise fluid loss and remove the OEM calipers. At this point, Bendix recommends machining the rear rotors or replacing if required. Once the rear rotors have been machined or replaced, fit the new Bendix Ultimate four-wheel drive brake pads and brake pad mounting hardware over to the new Bendix caliper, making sure to use Bendix Ceramosil brake parts lubricant where needed, and fit the caliper to the vehicle. Then plug the electric park brake caliper wires in and bleed the brake system. Be sure to secure the caliper wiring up and away from any moving parts using cable ties. Once bled, ensure that there is a good pedal feel before testing the electric park brake. Next, ensure that the battery and charging system are to OEM specifications and connect the positive and negative wires. To test operation, turn the ignition off and with the OEM handbrake disengaged, check that the electric park brake activates and the vehicle park brake dash light comes on. Once you've confirmed that it all works as it should, test drive the vehicle to ensure that the braking system performs as expected. To complete the install, attach the provided caution sticker to the vehicle driver's door. The Ultimate 4-Wheel Drive EPB also has a service mode to wind back the EPB to allow for brake pad change. There is a card detailing this process provided within the kit. Be sure to add this to the vehicle service book so future service technicians can understand this process. The EPB can also be hardwired at install to allow for other auto activation options. Wiring diagrams for these and other options are detailed on the Bendix website or discuss with your auto electrician. Once fitted, the Bendix Ultimate 4-Wheel Drive Electric Park Brake works in conjunction with the vehicle's OEM handbrake to provide a much needed extra level of insurance against rollaways, keeping yourself and those around you safe on the job. For more information on Bendix's range of Ultimate 4-Wheel Drive Brake products, visit www.bendix.com.au. Bendix, put your foot down with confidence.